respect to Lemieux and Saunders, I see Danny Jacobs on a whole new level to those guys in terms of ability and hopefully in terms of profile as well and draw. So that's the level we want to get to where actually they're coming to us saying, oh, is there any chance of a shot with Danny? Having fought Golovkin, some would say it would be fair. Yeah, 100%. He Listen, he's nowhere near the size of the star he should be after that Golovkin performance. Okay? So in my opinion, he beat Golovkin. In other people's, you know, maybe it was a draw. Maybe it was one round to Golovkin. But you couldn't split the fight. So there's this guy who is supposed to be this animal, this superstar in Gennady Golovkin. And here's a guy who has bundles more charisma, just as much talent. He's from Brooklyn. You know, he should be he should be absolutely mobbed on every street in New York State. <laughs> yeah? So that's really my job. And if I would have had him leading into the Golovkin fight, maybe we'd be in that position now. But we're building as well. We're not just building in the ring, we're building outside of the ring. Eddie, so, why do you think those things have happened for him since the Golovkin fight? Sorry? Why haven't those things happened? Because he didn't have a promoter behind him. Um, because he didn't have activity behind him. You know, you can't come out of a fight like that and a performance like that and not scream and shout. And he's not the kind of guy to scream and shout, but you need a vehicle behind you to push you and make noise mm. that we should have won that fight, that we want the rematch, that we're the best middleweight in the world. That's just standard behavior, standard promotional literature. Yeah, that, that this, this deal with Eddie seems like it made sense um, after the, the fight week and now the fight is over. Like, how, how's the experience with Eddie? I mean, this is the most promotion I've received, I think, in my whole entire career. The last three months, I mean, I was out at dinner last night. They were showing my commercial about four or five times in between the NBA games. So, I mean, it's just stuff like that that I feel like, you know, it's going to catapult my career to the next level. Having a guy investing into me in a network, investing to promoting me, you know, and it just makes sense, and I'm glad it came at the perfect time. Eddie, um, not sure if 